Hello and thanks for joining us tonight. Companies nationwide need employees to rev up their engines and get behind the wheel. According to the American Journal of Transportation, the United States is more than 80,000 truck drivers short. They say it's in part due to low pay and people's lack of interest in the job. But the Georgia Motor Trucking Association says trucking wages paid in Georgia exceeded $13 billion in 2018. We're taking a live look at the merge of Interstate 75 and 475. This year, the city of Warner Robins began a program to help them meet their need for drivers. Megan Western joins us live in Warner Robins to give us an update on that. Good evening, Frank and Lori. Yes, the city of Warner Robins provides free CDL training for their employees run through the Public Works Department. Now, currently, Public Works is looking to fill nine positions that require CDL training to help with public maintenance needs. Now, again, CDL training is the license that's needed to drive a commercial vehicle. And today I spoke with one driver who says that this program has advanced his work experience and I caught up with the first graduate. With just over a year on the job, Nathan Snyder says he's always looking for areas to improve. I know there's the need for the drivers, so I went ahead and talked to my, my immediate supervisor. He told me about it. I joined it. He's the second graduate of the city program, and Snyder says the skills make him feel very valuable. If I'm needed to drive a truck or, or if the skills needed for, for operating a, a larger vehicle is needed, I'm available. He says he always loves hitting the road, sitting high in a grappler or dump truck. There's nothing like driving the big trucks. Snyder says the incentive for growth will keep him loyal to his job. I don't go to a job just to sit stagnant. So when you have, you know, a team that their whole goal is let's get you trained up and all this different stuff so you can move up, you know, to me that's important. The program's first grad, Nathaniel Moore, still agrees. It's been great. He says it gave him a jump on his career growth. I'm used to using a weed eater or either a lawnmower, but now I can operate a grappler, a dump truck, and that is great. Plus, he says it's added pay. The department has three more people in training now, and they want more people to come fuel up their department. We want people to come in that they want to do it and have the drive to learn it if they don't already have those skills. You know, come in as a one. Go now, the although class. this is yes. run by the Public Works Department, it is open to all city employees. Public Works Director Clegg Clifton says they've even got interest from someone in the Utilities Department. Live in Warner Robins, Megan Western, 13 WMAZ News. Thanks a lot, Megan. Employees must pass a state test before getting the CDL license. The Bureau of Labor Statistics says as of May, there were more than 99,000 people employed in the industry. The median pay for a truck driver driving a capacity less than 26,000 pounds is about $40,000 a year.